and our very own Yumna, the Mushroom Girl with Amira. Uh, I haven't yet heard what is this all about. I'd like to hear it from you now. Okay, oh, so yeah. hi, uh, we're Mycy Blue. What we're doing is that we're growing uh, mushroom products. This is a live mushroom wall. We've kept it alive for five whole months. And everything on these panels is stuff that we researched and we found out over the course of these five months. Um, mushrooms grew out of this. You can see the mushrooms also displayed over here. We have uh, panels that are inactive that can be used. This has been uh, inactive for two years. It's completely safe. You can touch it. Um, yeah, it feels a little bit like styrofoam. So that's the goal. Using styrofoam uh, is basically really harmful for our environment. It's one of the uh, most harmful toxics in the environment right now. We want to replace styrofoam with mycelium. So packaging materials, um, it has similar properties, but it's better. It, it can decompose after you use it. Um, it decomposes within a few weeks only. And um, right now we want to start with introducing everyday uh, products. These are some of our prototypes. They're still growing. But this is a candle uh, stand. It, it's growing. Like it's growing in size. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's growing. You can see all the whites. Okay. I'll make a chappal from this. So this is what's happening and we want to introduce this to the people so people can realize what this is and eventually we want architecture to be made out of this. And you told me about a concept of self-healing concrete self uh, that also includes mycelium in a you know in, in, a, yes, in some yes. sort uh, in some kind of state uh, but it's amazing to know about this organic material, basically, I am talking about myself that people think of mycelium as a threat to leather industry, but I don't think it is, it is a threat. It is a uh, material that complements leather in the realm of organic material. So I think the properties that it has is amazing. I never knew mycelium to this core or in this detail until you told me today or I was listening to Amira. So brilliant and I love to know more and be a mushroom guy someday as well. Yes. I do eat mushroom, but I never grow mushroom. Like I never make things out. I never make things out of mushrooms. I like to make things out of mushroom. Maybe incorporate something with leather for kids. Who never? You never know. So yeah, hats off. Very nice.